and Omori Akmedo. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mecca, Russia, presenting the challenger, Omari Lekek Akhmedov. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Great Volgonovsky. Hires you for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to deploy their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Beautiful punch. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early goals. Liver kick. 
Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big body kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Akhmedov. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Beautiful leg kick throw. Akhmedov's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Goes to the body there. Big kick. Quick level change. Oh, he six. went single. Rotate head outside. Just keep going for a ride. Oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volkanovski. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Akhmedov. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there absolutely. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> I mean, how many can he take? Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. And there it is! He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar. And still, the undisputed UFC man on the planet and now with another highlight for the real the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight i'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently